Well, despite high interest rates, there is high demand in the Seattle housing market, a really hot start to 2024. So here to give us more insight on the market and give us an idea of what's uh, coming up this spring is the founder and CEO of Rexmont Real Estate, Adriano Torre. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so I was just uh, checking the old interwebs on what the median home price is in Western Washington. It's like $850,000. This market is nuts right now. A lot of people putting their homes up for sale in, in the springtime. How is the market overall? Things are heating up right now. Uh, the, the Seattle market still remains a seller's market. Um, in terms of currently the amount of inventory that is out there in the market, we're still very, very low. Uh, one of the things that is mainly contributing that is that still we have the interest rates uh, being out there into the high, the high six percentile. And then ultimately, you know, as people are looking into their options to move out, uh, potentially out of the state, uh, looking into a bigger home, uh, they might be thinking twice, right? And, uh, and that's, that's something that we, we will have to keep in mind uh, in terms of approaching uh, a home purchase, a, a, you know, as a consumer. So it, it, traditionally, the springtime is when it's it's recommend that you put your, your house on the market for, you know, school reasons and, and various other reasons. The weather's getting a bit nicer. As we head into spring, do you see this hot market getting even hotter? So there is an interesting number to keep in mind. Uh, 2023, in terms of the number of homes that were sold, we're very, man, very much mirroring what we saw in 1995. Now, the difference between 1995 right. and today is because we are more people in the community, right? And so now, in terms of what we see in the springtime, there is really not going to be as much changes in relation to the number of homes that are coming in the market. There is a slight increase that we've seen so far this year, about 20, 23% of more active listings, but not enough to still be able to uh, uh, fulfill the demand that is going out there in terms of uh, buyers in the community. So demand is, is really high right now. A couple of years ago, we were seeing prices escalating. We were seeing multiple offers going way over asking. Is that the situation now? Or are we heading that way? So late last year, uh, as we saw the interest rates coming down, you know, from the mid sevens to the low six, we saw a surge, and the surge is still with us. And we've seen that there are still multiple offers, hap uh, offers happening right now uh, in situations for popular neighborhoods and communities. You're seeing that those uh, escalations are going somewhere between seven to 12%. And so that's still happening. Mm -hmm. uh, as we head into the springtime, we'll see more number of homes available in the market, uh, especially, uh, you know, for areas where you see that there is more purchasing power, uh, but nonetheless, for all buyers out there who are looking into their options, uh, there is no a major uh, a change happening in the market in relation to inventory, so we have to put our, our ducks in a row, make sure that we prep our credit, make sure that we you know have the money aside, and as soon as we identify the property that you know we fall in love with, then it's time to make a prompt decision. Right, and then on the other side of it, if you're thinking about maybe putting your, your home on the market right now, what would you suggest? So if we are ready to put a home on the market, it's because we really have a genuine need, right? If we're using more of that discretionary uh, uh, power on being able to still not you know, uh, identify options out there, but we're not quite sure, it might not be the right time for you, but if we have a genuine need to relocate or upgrade or downsize, that now is the time. Okay, I have one last question for you. I just I mentioned the median home selling for eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars around here, and and that is an astronomical number for younger folks who would like to get into this housing market. What would you suggest for them? One of the things that we've seen uh, lately in the market is the accessibility of no money down programs out there, 100% uh, financing. A, another option that they have is is if they look into multi-generational, you know, housing options where they can have either, uh, you know, parents, you know, uh, be moving with them or likely maybe, you know, uh, my family members or even a close friend that may help, you know, uh, with affording the mortgage payment. 
payment, uh, but as far as affordable housing, things are still we're not we're not there, no one quite right. there yet. There's still a lot of work to do, and uh, you know, and as we see the market mainly set little settle for the springtime, uh, we will see more and more of the the relentless demand. So we have to be uh, prepared uh, well in advance, as you know, we we go into home hunting mode. The founder and CEO of Rexmont Real Estate, Adriano Torre, always a pleasure. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me.